Okay, so this is lab one where you will download and create the HTML file. So let me go ahead and click here to go to the download area. Okay, and it's already at the current version 792. And I know it's kind of, uh, I, I, they have ads here. So just be sure not to click on any of these ads. It has the little X there. What you're going to be clicking on would be either 32-bit or 64-bit. It just depends on what your computer is. And actually, let me go ahead and show you how to figure that out. Let me just confirm that this is the way to do it. Okay, good. Okay, so basically, if you go to File Explorer, and then you just right click on this PC, and then go to Properties. And I know you might already know this, but just in case you don't, uh, it says right here, System Type, it's a 64-bit. So that tells you which one to download. Okay, so, um, so mine would be the 64-bit and you would just click Installer. Okay, so now it's download, downloading at EXE. And if I click on it, of course, it'll give it most likely give me problems because I already have it downloaded or installed. So now at this point, you probably don't see, but it's asking me to for permission and it probably won't give me permission to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's not giving me permission. So unfortunately, I can't tell you, show you exactly how it goes, but basically when you hit the installer, it'll just go through the um, the process of installing and just click next, next, next. And like I have right here, you don't need to choose any additional options. And then that's it, it will be installed. So when you get it installed, you get an icon, most likely on your desktop, you just double click it. Okay, and I've already used it a bit, but so here is what I have. And um, basically, you most likely won't have anything like that. So I'm just going to close that you might already have something here. And it already says new and then one. But you could just do file. And if you don't, you could just do file new. And here I have a new two. So now that I have Notepad++ open, I'm also going to have the website open so I can type in the code. Notice how um, there's indentations. Be sure to indent things that need to be indented. And we'll cover this um, in chapter six, I believe. But indentations are very important it's not necessary. You could actually have all of your code in one line, but that just makes it really hard to read. So you want to indent things. So that way, not only is it easier for you to fix if you have any problems or to add stuff, it makes it easier on other people that need to look at it. Because uh, also in chapter six, we'll be covering the fact that, you know, uh, sometimes it'll only be one person working on the web page, or there might be a team of people working with somebody else. So somebody might, you know, with somebody with new eyes, it'll just be harder to read uh, if you don't have indentations or even spacing. Now, uh, like I just put a space there, but it's not necessary for the body to uh, have to have a space in between the head and the body. Um, and since I'm here, notice how this head, it just has head in the brackets, or angle brackets, and the close head, you show that it's a close by putting this slash here. So that's the close head. And then we have an open body. So there's no slash there. And I'm going to press enter a few times because in the body is where you have the content that you want to have seen in the uh, website. 
inside the body. So here's the open body tag, and then here's the closed body tag. The open does not have a slash, the body, the closed body has a slash. And then at the end, you wanna put slash HTML to close the HTML file. And these are the very basic command or tags that you need for creating a website. Okay, so then, and actually, um, if you're on your computer right now, you can go ahead and do the installation of Notepad, uh, Notepad++ while we're doing this. So if you have any issues, you can uh, we can deal with them right now. Okay, so um, okay, so here is the the basic code. Now, if I were to do file, and then we do save as just like we have. So at this point in the assignment, we've already downloaded, we've typed in the code or the tags, and now we're gonna save. So I did file save as, then we're gonna choose the location. Now it's very important. Well, like regular assignments, you wanna make sure you know where it is. So you might wanna create a folder for this class, just put 1311, wherever, and mine is in downloads, but just uh, be sure you know where you put it. So downloads, I'm gonna put mining, and uh, you can put HTML here now, or you can wait until it does it for you, because when you do save as type, you need to make sure to choose hypertext markup language, this one right here. Now notice also that you could it could be HTML, HTM, and some other ones. But what you submit to me be either HTML or HTM. Okay, so and you know you could put uh, for the file name you might want to put your last name and then lab one. You save as type, it's in the downloads 1311 folder. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Then um, we need to test it out. So now in the assignment here, it says test the file. We're going to open File Explorer and double click the file you created. So now I am going to go to File Explorer. I went to, I saved it in downloads and I saved it in a folder called 1311. I called it Cardenas Lab 1. Notice that it has the Chrome icon, so it recognizes that it's an HTML file. But also notice that it does not have HTM at the end or HTML. So uh, that might be a bit of concern, but know that when I hover over it, it does say HTML document there. And then it also says for the type Chrome HTML document. So it's actually saved correctly. And also seeing the icon there says it's saved correctly, but you just don't see the extension. So one thing that you might wanna do uh, as a computer major is, and you might already have done this, but you want to view the extensions to make sure what kind of file you have. And here it says file name extensions. So if I check that off, now I can see that it's a .html file. And a lot of times, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of times, um, if you don't see it, you might I've had uh, people submit like .htm, .html, .htm, and even though you write it in there because it could be part of the name, it's not actually an HTML file if at the end it has .txt. So be very, uh, so I, I highly recommend viewing the file name extensions to make sure but then again, you see the icon here, you see HTML, you also know that to confirm. Okay, so back to where we were, we're testing the file. I opened a file explorer um, and we need to double click the file that I created. So, whoops. Okay, so this is the file here. I double click it and it automatically brings me to the browser, which is Chrome.
And here's content to see. If I go back to Notepad++, this is the content that I wrote in there. And I'm going to type in now it has changed. Okay, like let's say if there's something wrong with it, you, you just type in the changes in Notepad++, then you hit save. And if you didn't already close the uh, page in the browser, you can just hit the refresh on top, this circle, which is probably what you already know, but still. Here's uh, reload the page, and now it shows the changes. And that is what I typically do. And that is actually a recommendation that I have on the assignment is to leave the web page open. That way you don't have to continuously go back to File Explorer, double click this to have the, the change uh, uh, available. You just have both of these open. You could even have uh, one screen on one side, the other screen on the other side. So every time you change it, and well, the um, Zoom doesn't make it easy. You hit save and then you do refresh and now you see the change here. So that's what I recommend. Just having both of them open so you can save and refresh. And uh, you might be able to do this, but uh, I used to be able to do this where you could just do um, F5 and that refreshes the F5 key on your keyboard, but my laptop actually switched and I have to actually do a function F5, so it's not as easy, but uh, either way. So, all right, so after you create the file, and of course, uh, part of the assignment is that I want your name there. So we go ahead and do. And again, remember the indentations and notice how I made a boo boo. I put my name on the same indentation as head and body. But here, the name is indented. And the reason why is because anything inside of the body needs to be indented to show that it's inside, or at least to make it more uh, easy, easily read. So now it's indented within the body. So if you wanted to type in something in the head, you indent, you might put the title of the page. Okay, so okay, I have a. Okay, so now that we have uh, the HTML file created, what's next on the assignment? Okay, so we've already tested the file. We double clicked it. You should see your name in the browser. If you see any of the code, then that would be a problem. So, okay, we see the name in the browser and that's fine. Now, if you, let's see an example where you see some of the code, like let's say you forget a, an angle bracket. Let's see what happens. Now, I know that uh, like, okay, so here, if you're missing that angle bracket, it just doesn't show the name at all. So then you have to go back and say, okay, well, what's wrong with this? So then you put the angle bracket back, you hit save and then refresh and there's the name again. Uh, let me see if I can find out a way to put uh, the code in there. So here the problem is, is that there's two open bodies but not a close, okay. So this is a situation and it's saved and then I refreshed it and notice how my name is still there. I know that that happens a lot, even though it's not right here, it still works. And that um, even though it still works, it still needs to be right. So if I were to see two open body tags here, then I would take off points. Even though it works, I need to see that there's a close tag here. 
and uh, I don't know if I can recreate a problem. Here, let's see. Let's see if I take off this close angle bracket on the HTML tag. Nope. See, again, it still works, but it's not right.